Hey everyone, so today's video is going to be my January sales for 2020. Uh, my setting is different because it's too beautiful out here in San Diego to not be sitting outside and doing this. And not only that, my sh she shed, my workspace is kind of not put together. So here we are outside. Um, it's windy. You might see my umbrella hit me in the face. Um, but that's life. So anyways, let's get right into it. Oh, and we might have some special guests. Um, so first off, I sold, and I'll put all the pictures of everything right up here. Um, I sold this pair of Tiki Cloud yoga pants, size medium. Um, I paid $1 for them. I sold them for $22. Poshmark took $4.40. And I made 16 Right, 1661. Let me just, there we go. Uh, next is this John Ashford Brown cashmere sweater. Both of these pieces I've had for quite a while. Um, I paid $1 for it. I think I got an offer for 14. Poshmark took $2.95. And, oops, well, yeah, 14, $2.95. Um, and I made 10.05. Next is this Com Compagni, I don't know how to say it, Internationale Express 100% silk skirt. I think it was vintage. Um, I paid $1 for it. I got an offer for $10. Poshmark took $2.95 and I made $6.05. Then, I, so these ones I got the same, I sold the same day that I got them and I probably should have listed them higher, but oh well. Um, it is this pair of easel, dis easel Distressed Star Raw Hem Ankle Skinny Jeans. Um, I paid a dollar for them. I was asking 21, somebody paid full price. Poshmark took $4.20 and I made $15.80. Next is this 14th and Union Midi Length Pencil Skirt. Um, I paid $1 for it. Sorry, I'm looking down because my screen has all my information. Um, I paid $1 for it. Uh, I sold it for 15. I think somebody, I might have had it listed for 18. Somebody offered me 15. Poshmark took $3 and I made 11. Uh, next is this Victoria's Secret bathing suit bottom size large. So I had both pieces, um, but the top was a medium and the bottom was a large. So I separated them and somebody bought the bottoms. Um, I paid 50 cents. Um, somebody offered me $10. I accepted. Poshmark took $2.95 and I made $6.55. So these are a pair of cotton on high rise cutoff jeans, size six. Um, I think I had these in my closet for a while. I paid a dollar for them. Somebody made me an offer for 10. Poshmark took $2.95 and I made $6.05. Then I sold this pair of one teaspoon, that's Aussie. Uh, one teaspoon white distressed rolled raw hem jeans, size 20, jean shorts, size 24. Um, I sold them within a week. Um, I paid $1 for them. I think I had them listed at 35 or 36. Somebody offered me 30. I accepted. <laughs> Poshmark took $6 and I walked away with 23. Uh, next is this pair of Timberland women's brown boots, size six and a half. Um, I got these in a thread up box. They were kind of scuffed. They weren't really in super great condition, but they weren't in bad condition. I paid $4.08 for them. I think I had them listed for 32. Somebody offered me 25. I accepted. Um, <laughs> he's got a big stick in his mouth that he's trying to carry. <laughs> um, anyways, Poshmark took $5 and I took home $15.92. Uh, next is this pair of Anthro, um, the Pilcrow and the Letterpress uh, Stet jeans. I kind of took a loss here on this one, but oh well. I paid $6.99 for them. Uh, the person made me an offer for $20. I accepted because I wasn't sure if I paid up for them or if I paid a dollar for them. I couldn't remember and I was not home. Um, Poshmark took $4 and I only made $9.01 on that. Uh, then I have this pair of Sol Salomon, Salomon Ortholite women's hiking shoes. Um, I got them from the Reno bins and actually 
I don't know if they're hiking shoes or not, but they were like athletic type shoes. Um, I paid $2 for them. She offered me 16, I accepted because they had been in there for a while. Poshmark took $3.20 and I made $10.80. Next is this pair of, ugh. He's a bull mastiff and when he shakes his head, all of his drool just goes flying and that's what he just did. Um, anyways, um, is this pair of Lafayette 148 New York white cuffed jeans. Um, they were a size eight. I paid $1 for them. I think I had them in my closet for a little, a good amount of time. Um, somebody offered me $20. I accepted. Poshmark took $4 and I made 15. Next is this Sims snow ski jacket. The zipper on it, the pool on it was broken and it was basically, it had a paper clip in there for the zip, which I disclosed. Um, I think I had it, no, I had it listed at 25. This person made me an offer. And before I had a chance to even accept their offer, they just ended up buying it outright for 25. Um, I paid 250 for it. Poshmark took $5, so I made 1750. Um, next is this Prana Cozy Up t-shirt. It was a size extra small. I paid $1 for it. Uh, I think they made me an offer for 13. I accepted. Um, Poshmark took $2.95 and I made $9.05. Next is this pair of cool Craig series men's jeans. Um, they had distressing on them, but I don't know if the distressing was intentional or not. So I just kind of disclosed that in the listing. I They were like this mustardy, I don't know, you'll see a picture here. Um, I paid a dollar for them and the person I think can't remember if I had them listed at this price or if they gave me an offer of this price, but they ultimately paid $35 for them. Oy. Uh, Poshmark took seven and I made 27. Um, next is this limited career ex exact stretch pants. They were a size six long. Um, I paid $1.19 for them. Um, somebody made me an offer of $20. Poshmark took four and I made $14.81. Uh, this next item I probably shouldn't have picked up, but it was new with tags, it was anthropology. Um, I, it's this anthropology Western wear top. It was brand new with tags, but like one of the sequins on the shoulders was missing. Um, I paid a dollar for it and I had it in my closet for months, 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 months. Um, and finally somebody came in with an offer of $9. I sucked it up and I sold it. Um, Poshmark took $2.95, so I made $5.05. Next is this pair of Trip NYC skinny jeans. Um, they were a size five. I see a lot of people selling Trip for a lot more money than I got out of these. Um, they were kind of cool. Uh, they, I paid a dollar for them. I had them in my closet for a while. Um, somebody made me an offer of 13 and I kind of hemmed and hawed about whether I was going to accept that offer. And finally I just said, you know, it's been in my closet for a while. I might as well just accept it. So that's what I did. Uh, $13 Poshmark took two ninety five, dollars and I made nine oh five. And I think I actually only got like a four star review on these or something for some reason. I don't know. I don't really care. It doesn't matter. Uh, next. Are, is this pair of Zara denim black raw hem skinny jeans. I paid a dollar. I think I had these in my closet for a little bit too. Um, somebody made me an offer of $12. I accepted. Poshmark took $2.95 and I made $8.05. Next is this pair of Miss Me easy cropped jeans in size 26. They did come from my girl Kimmy um, over at One Thread at a Time. There was a very fine faint stain which I disclosed um, on the front, but they still sold. Um, I think I ended up paying with shipping and everything, uh, $5.62 for them. Somebody made me an offer for 18, which I accepted. Poshmark took $3.60 and I made $8.78. Next is this Cole Elf fleece quarter zip sweater. Um, this thing was really pretty. I liked it. There was a lot of likes on it. That nobody was really interested in buying it. Um, I paid a dollar for it. I think I had it listed at 32 or 34 dollars and somebody offered me 25 and I happily accepted. Poshmark took five dollars and I ended up making 19. Not bad. Uh, 
Next is this torrid plaid button-down long sleeve shirt in a size six. I guess like it's their vanity sizing or something. So it was, um, I think it turned out to be like a size 28 or 32, um, something like that. I paid 92 cents for it. They offered me 18, I accepted. Uh, Poshmark took $3.60 and I made $13.48. Next is this Holding Horses Clara Denim Jean Tie Front Dress. It was a size two. I'm bummed that it didn't fit me or would have never fit me because I'm not anywhere close to a size two. Um, but it was super duper cute. And I had it listed, I think at 49. And somebody came in with this crazy low offer of like 18 or something. And so I countered with 40 um, and they countered with 25 and I countered with the lowest that I would accept, which was 35. And I think that the offer had expired and a couple days later they came back and sent me an offer for 35 and I took it. So I paid $1 for it. Um, they offered 35, Poshmark took seven, so I made $27. Um, next is this Jeffrey Bean Argyle Off-White Sweater Size Medium. I had this also in my closet for a while uh, and I paid a dollar for it. Somebody offered me 10, I accepted. And Poshmark took 2.95. And so I made $6.08. Next is this Urban, Out Urban Outfitters Paisley Print Button Down Size Medium. Um, I originally had this listed as a woman's, but put in the description that I wasn't sure if it was a men's or a woman's. And somebody commented and said it is a man's, so I switched it to a men's. Um, I paid $1 for it. Somebody offered me $10. I accepted. Poshmark took $2.95 and I made $6.05. Uh, next, next, <laughs> um, is this Amber Crombie and Abercrombie and Fitch Raw Hem Jean Cutoff Shorts. They are size eight. Um, I paid $1 for them. I think they made me an offer of 13. I accepted. Poshmark took $2.95 and I made $9.05. This is a pair of Rock and Republic Kendra Kirby bootcut um, jeans, size 14. I paid $1.33 for them. I think I had these listed, I don't know, like 21 or something. Um, the person offered me 10 and I countered at 15 and they accepted. So Poshmark took $3 and I took home $10.67. Uh, then we have this American Eagle Outfitters skinny jeans. They were a size eight long. Um, I paid $1.50 for them. Oh no, I think this was like one of the only things in my Thread Up Rescue jean box that I got that I thought that I could sell. Um, and so I had them listed at 18, I believe 18 or 21. Um, either way, they sold for $18. Poshmark took $3.60. And so I ha uh, took home $12.90. I will never, probably never, I can't say never, but I will probably never get another rescue box, denim rescue box from Thread Up. Um, next is this pair of Tiva Black De La Vina Low Booties. Um, they were a size nine and a half. I paid $7.99 for them and I made, set. well, they sold for my full asking price of $74. Poshmark took $14.80. And so I made $51.21. I knew that they were good and I was gonna hold out and people were interested, but this person just came in and bought them. I got a five-star review. She even left me a love note, so that's nice. Um, next is this pair of Sundry Beige Raw Hem Ankle Crop Pants, size 26. I'm basically reading you the um, my, my title um, as I wrote it in for um, my Poshmark listing. Um, I paid $1.19 for them. Somebody made me an offer of $18. I accepted the, the, there was like some threads coming loose on them. So, um, you know, when somebody offered me $18, I accepted. Poshmark took $3.60 and I made $13.21. Um, next are these Prana Kung Fu Blue Men's Pants, size medium. So I didn't know what the name of these were called. Somebody commented, um, somebody actually purchased a bundle from me and then commented on these pants um, and told me what they were. So I updated my listing. Um, I bought them for $1.19. I think I might've had them listed at 35 or 38 or maybe even 42 because they were actually 
there was a lot of them going for a lot more. But somebody made me an offer of $32. I accepted. Poshmark took $6.40 and I made $24.41. Uh, next is this pair of current Elliot boyfriend loved ankle skinny jeans in size 27. I paid $6.99 for these. I got an offer for $25. I accepted. Poshmark took $5 and I made $13.01. Almost done. Uh, next is this Madewell Central shirt in Dalton stripe, size medium. Um, I, I didn't have this one listed very long. I had it hanging up to be listed, but I just kind of kept putting it off because um, I've never had luck with Madewell shirts, but this one sold relatively quick. Um, I paid $1.19 for it. It sold for $18, which is what I was asking for it. Poshmark took $3.60, so I made $13.21. Uh, next is this Trip NYC buckle bathing suit in a size extra large. It was really cute. It was like one of those bathing suits that in the back it looks like it's a two-piece, but in the front it's a one-piece, and it had like buckles that went across like this. Um, I paid a dollar for it. Somebody sent me an offer for 19. I had it listed at like 25 and a lot of people liked it. Like I think it was getting at least five likes a day. Um, so I knew it would sell. Uh, so somebody offered me 19, I accepted. Poshmark took $3.80 and I made $14.40. Um, next is this Orvis Sherpa lined quarter zip sweater, size extra large. I paid $1.19. They offered me 15. I'd had this thing for quite a while and I was really kind of didn't want to even list it, but I did. Um, they made me an offer of $15. Poshmark took $3 and I made $10.81. And um, two more things. Next is this a bundle of Joe's jeans. Um, one of them was destroyed boyfriend slim and the other one was this pair of Adriana Goldschmied velvet Stevie ankle pants. Both were size 26. Combined, I paid $2.37 for both of them. She, um, I think I sent her an offer. Like, she had liked them. I think this is how it worked. She had liked them, so I had created a bundle, sent her an offer. She counted at 34 I accepted. Um, and Poshmark took $6.80, so I made $24.83. And last but not least is... Um, this pair of Vince Camuto black laser cut out um, Katie loafers. They were a size eight. I was not happy about this, but they were in my closet for a long time. People were really interested in them, but nobody was buying them. So, and I think I paid $9.99 for them. I think I had, a li had them listed for like 25 or 28. She offered me 18 and I just wasn't willing to go that low. So I countered with 21 and she accepted. Um, and Poshmark took $4.20 and I only made $6.81, but at least I made something, I guess. Um, so that is everything that sold in January of 2020. Oh, let me give you my final numbers. So my total cost of goods was $77.73. Um, before fees or anything like that, um, my... Um, my sale, everything totaled, sold was $766. Poshmark fees were $159.90. And after my, what I paid for it, Poshmark fees, I walked away with $528.58. So not bad, I don't think, anyways. Um, and yeah, so that is everything. Uh, if you like this content, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Leave me a comment. Um, and yeah, I ain't got nothing else to say. Bye. Thanks for watching. Bye.